Hey everybody, this is Josh with Music Lesson here with another video uh, pertaining to another article. This is for the article Violin Songs with Quarter Rest, okay? So, just like the name implies, we're going to play a few simple songs uh, that have quarter rests. <clears throat> now remember, quarter rests means, means that we're not going to play at all. They are counts of silence, okay? So we'll play all the other notes, the quarter notes, and in the quarter rest, we won't play at all. It'll be a count of silence, okay? Um, if you have not gone through notes on the A string or notes on the D string, definitely go ahead and review that. Uh, if you don't know where those fingers are or where they go or what notes to play, definitely review that because you're going to need that before we go down and try these songs out, okay? Okay, the first song that we come up to is Three's Company, okay? We're kind of going to build off of what we had already played in the previous exercises here, okay? And we're going to jump around a bit, but don't be intimidated by that. Okay, you can do this. This is straightforward. It's easy. You got it, okay? Um, so here we go. Play along with me if you like. One, two, three, four. Rest. 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 Okay, now you don't have to lift the bow. As a matter of fact, I would suggest that you don't lift the bow for right now. Okay, it's just a habit, and I wanted to make sure that you understood that there will be no sound coming out of the violin at all whenever you're playing a rest right there, okay? But you connect the notes, okay, before that, because they're not staccato, all right? Okay, moving on. We've got two and through. We're going to try this out with two quarter notes and two quarter rests in each measure, okay? Uh, follow us along and try uh, either with a clock or a uh, timer, uh, anything with a second hand or numbers or even a metronome if you got that. Okay, here we go. Ready? One, two, three, four. Rest, rest. Rest, rest. Rest, rest. Rest, rest. Okay? All right, good. That's two and through. Uh, don't, be, don't forget, you can also slow this down on YouTube. It's really, really nice to have that ability. You can slow it down and play it with me a little bit uh, easier uh, if you're just starting out, okay? <clears throat> this next one is the horse's ride, okay? We're going to find ourselves playing quarter notes separated by quarter rests, okay? Um, <clears throat> sometimes we might find ourselves dragging our bows through the rests, Okay, be careful not to do that, especially here because you've only got one note separated by uh, a, a quarter rest and then another quarter note, um, whereas we didn't have that in the previous song, okay? Be careful not to drag the quarter notes into the quarter rests, okay? Because you want to have that space there. It's there for a reason, okay? So here's the horse's ride, and feel free to play along with me. One, two, three, four. Rest. 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 There you go. Okay, good job. Good job. All right, let's move on. Further down the line, this is the longest song we've done so far. It's eight measures instead of four, <clears throat> okay? Uh, unlike the previous songs were, previous three songs were four measures, okay? Uh, and some we've done before this are only two measures, okay? But this is just to get your feet wet, get you some experience with playing longer songs, because obviously as we progress through music, we are going to be playing longer songs. So don't let it dissuade you at all. It should not be daunting. Uh, you're going to do fine, okay? Um... Length shouldn't be a factor, uh, even when it's a song that's very difficult, okay? Take it one measure at a time, practice it slowly. That's your practice tip. One measure at a time, practice it slowly, and you'll have it memorized before you know it, okay? Uh, I labeled the fingers a little bit differently. Uh, if there are two or more notes in a row that are on the same string, I simply wrote the string at the first note, and then just the finger number from there on until the string changed, okay? Uh, so that's a little bit different, um, but I, I think you'll be fine with it if you've been through all the articles and exercises up to this point, okay? This is further down the line. Feel free to play it with me. Ready? One, two, three, four. Rest. Rest. 
Rest. Rest. There you go. And now I definitely changed up the order of the rest and the other quarter notes, okay? Uh, because we, we want to keep things varied. If we keep doing the same thing over and over again, we don't actually grow, okay? So just keep an eye on that. I think you're gonna do fine. Uh, and don't forget, you can rewind it and go over it and over it and over it. And that's why I suggest repetition is key. Very important for you right now, okay? Okay, use these exercises to help you grow in your playing as well as your counting, okay? We're gonna do more songs shortly okay don't worry we got plenty more to do i got a lot more to practice okay uh, a tip is to simply start by counting the beats of the song first then learning the notes then playing it in time okay remember if you're watching and listening on a computer you can use the youtube video settings which is that little cog wheel on the video screen sometimes it says hd next to it uh, and you can click on that and go to speed and you can slow down and speed up the videos to make it easier for you to put, to uh, follow along with my playing. Um, definitely hope this helps everybody. Um, I hope you progress. Uh, let me know in the comments if this helped or if it didn't help or if there's anything I can do uh, to improve uh, your ability to, to, to understand and to practice. Okay, but uh, remember music is magic and I'll see you at the next article.